requires a lot of force. Can you focus all that power into one finger? Mr. Aizawa! You see? I'm still standing! This kid... He threw it over 700 meters! Nice! He's finally showing us his true power! His finger appears to be broken now. Just like in the exam, this quirk is very odd. It wasn't a very pretty throw. <laughs> what the hell was that? If you had a quirk, you would have gotten it when we were kids! This is impossible! He's up to something. Someone I look up to... ...told me I have what it takes to be a hero. That's why I'm going to UA. I'm getting to the bottom of this. Uh hey! Sucker, you bastard! Tell me how you did that or you're dead! <laughs> The whole list. It's not worth going over each individual score. Can I squeak by on that score alone? I bombed the rest of the challenges. No. <laughs> Isawa, that was a rotten move. A rational deception. That's cute, but you're not exactly known for being lighthearted. I read your file. Last year, you expelled an entire class of freshman students. You have no problem kicking students out. Anyone you deem unworthy. You were planning to send last place home. So that can only mean you see the same kind of potential in young Mitoya that I do. What is this about? It almost sounds like you've been in this corner the whole time. <laughs> Isn't it a little early for you to be playing favorites? He doesn't have zero potential, I admit. If that were the case, I would have sent him straight home after class without hesitation. In your own strange way, you're a kind man, Aizawa. I know that. But, clearly, we are gonna have us a problem. <sighs> I'm so tired. Uh, hey there, Ida! How's the broken finger doing? Uh, oh, it's doing fine, thanks to Recovery Girl. <laughs> oh, thanks, that feels so much better. But, uh, I suddenly feel really tired. I need a nap. My quirk stimulates your ability to heal, but healing takes energy. It's not my fault. That's just how the body works. Get too many big injuries, your stamina will be shot. Help from others. I have to hurry up and learn to control my power. I was a bit concerned by Mr. Aizawa's approach to class, but I trust the school's judgment. UA is the top program. Even so, lying is downright immoral. I thought he was scary, but that's not it. He's just really serious about school. Hey! Wait up, you two! Are you going to the station? I'll join you guys! It's her again! Oh, you're the Infinity Girl. I'm Otaku Uraka. Let's see, you are Tenya Ida, and your name is Deku, right? Midoriya? Deku! Uh, yeah, isn't that what Bakugo called you? During the fitness test, he said... Deku, you bastard! Right? Oh, well, my name's actually Izuku. Deku's Wukachan calls me to make fun of me. You know what? I like Deku. It could make a great hero name. Plus, I think it sounds kind of cute. Deku it is! Just like that? Weren't you saying that it was an insult? Paradigm shift! My whole world is upside down! Wait, what? <laughs> I survived my first day at UA, even if I kind of failed. But you know what, All Might? At least I'm making some new friends. That's gotta be a good thing, right? You don't have time to relax, Midoriya. Not yet. The real test begins tomorrow. There are normal core classes like English. They meet in the mornings. Now, which of these four sentences contains a mistake? So boring. This really sucks. Hey, everybody, look alive! Grammar rules! The relative pronoun's wrong yeah, in the wrong. last one. Lay it on us! We eat lunch in the main cafeteria, where we can buy pretty tasty stuff on the cheap. And then, in the afternoon, it's finally time. Hero basic training. I am here! Welcome to the most important class at UA High! Think of it as Heroing 101! Here you will learn the basics of being a pro! And what it means to fight in the name of good! Let's get into it! Today's lesson, the Pono Punches! Fight training? Real combat? But one of the keys of being a hero is... Looking good! These were designed for you based on your quirk registration forms and the request you sent in before school started! <laughs> Well, there are plenty of cases where people discover that their quirks aren't exactly...
exactly what they thought they were at first. You're allowed to revise. I'm sure they'll want you to update things. Look, just mark oh, in no. there and tell us if you want to... <laughs> we hung up on all my... We'll have to apologize later. This is it. My hero costume. Not too flashy, you know? <laughs> I should have been more specific about what I wanted. This bodysuit is skin tight. Not really my style. <laughs> I love this school. <laughs> Now that you're ready, it's time for combat training, sir. Oh, so that's Ida under there. He looks so cool. This is the fake city from our entrance exam. Does that mean that we'll be conducting urban battles again? Not quite. I'm going to move you two steps ahead. Most of the villain fights you see on the news take place outside. However, statistically speaking, run-ins with the most dastardly evildoers take place indoors. <laughs> Think about it. Backroom deals, home invasions, secret underground lairs. Truly intelligent criminals stay hidden in the shadows. For this training exercise, you'll be split into teams of good guys and bad guys and fight two-on-two -two indoor battles. Isn't this a little advanced? Sir, will you be the one deciding who wins? How much can we hurt the other team? Do we need to worry about the losers getting expelled like earlier? Will you be splitting us up based on chance or comparative skill? Isn't this cape crazy? I wasn't finished talking. Listen up! A script? The situation is this. The villains have hidden a nuclear missile somewhere in their hideout. The heroes must try to foil their plans. To do that, the good guys either have to catch the evildoers or recover the weapon. Likewise, the bad guys succeed if they protect their payload or capture the heroes. Sounds like a classic action movie setup. Time's limited, and we'll choose teams by drawing... So maybe that's the reason we're seeing that here. Yes, I see. Life is a random series of events. Excuse my rudeness. No sweat! Let's draw... What are the chances? We're a team! Oh my gosh! I have to make a good impression on her! I declare that the first teams to fight will be... These guys! <sighs> team A will be the heroes! Team D will be the villains! Everyone else can head to the monitoring room to watch! Yes, yes sir! will be let loose and the battle will start. Yes, yes sir. sir. Young Ida, young Bakugo, the key to being successful in this challenge is to embody villainy. Think from the perspective of an evildoer. Got it. If things go too far, I'll step in. Understood. <laughs> well, this is the weapon we must protect. Fake, of course. Hey. Huh? Do you really think Deku has a quirk? Hmm? You saw how he threw that ball. Though I think his power hurts his body. Why is it that you seem to be especially angry when it comes to me, Dorian? Was he seriously just tricking me all these years? I'm gonna roast that damn nerd today! You think they expect us to memorize this building's floor plan? It's so big! You know, All Might's just as cool in person as he is on television. I'm glad he's not threatening us with some kind of punishment like Mr. Aizawa. We can relax! Ah, you're sweating through your costume! Uh, well... It's just because we're up against Kachan. Plus, there's Ida, too. We should be on our guard. Who knows what they'll pull? Oh, right. Bakugo. He's the one who's always making fun of you. <sighs> and he's amazing. All of the more popular than All Might himself and be the richest hero of all time! He can be a real pain, sure. But his strength and confidence and his ambition, not to mention his quirk, they're all so much greater than mine. But that just means I have to do better. I refuse to lose today. <laughs> so it's a faded night. Let's win this! <laughs> All right! Let's begin the indoor combat training! Team A and Team D, your time starts now! <laughs> Pay attention, kids. Think about what you would do. Young Midoriya. In this class, you're just another student. I'll grade you as I would anyone else, without playing favorites. And just like that, we're in. Careful. There are a lot of blind spots.
still have basically no control over one for all. I can't risk using it. If I did, I'd probably end up killing someone. We'll just have to win with Uraraka's zero gravity, and whatever I can do without a quirk. I've gotta use my head. I took a lot of notes on indoor battles and fighting in tight spaces. I can do this! Baseball player? Go beyond! Claws Ultra! <laughs> 